Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you are having good time with your family friends. In today's session on Azure, I am here to talk about Azure VMware solution by Cloud Simple. Yes, you heard it right. Uh, something like this has been there on uh, AWS public cloud for a while. They have exclusive agreement with uh, VMware, but now you can also deploy on bare metal your VMware solution in Microsoft Azure public cloud. So what's the reason why Microsoft is uh, giving this option? Because they have their own hypervisor well. As we all know that in this uh, big war on cloud, there are millions of uh, VMs or workloads which are running on the VMware infrastructure because that's one of the most preferred hypervisor used by most of the enterprise. So Microsoft want to make sure that uh, they're able to bring these workloads and they want to make it easy. So basically how it works. So as I said that uh, customers on-prem, they have a lot of workloads which are using VMware ASXi hypervisors. and Microsoft wants to target this market. So what this solution allows you to do is you can deploy this on a bare metal and you can continue to use all the VMware tools that you're used to. So tools such as vSphere, vCenter, vSAN, all these you'll be able to utilize by utilizing this solution and it is powered by Cloud Simple. And you can have connectivity between your on-prem and your cloud. You can either use Express Route or you can use uh, obviously site-to-site -site VPN. And uh, Microsoft has some stringent SLA so they will make sure that you know hardware uh, is uh, you know in case uh, there's some software update or patches which are being uh, delivered by VMware that's already updated. So your VMware host will be updated. And obviously, in terms of redundancy, uh, that is also provided by Microsoft Azure. Actually, when you deploy the solution, you have to deploy this in three nodes. So three nodes are the minimum requirements. So you need to have that. And uh, there are a couple of uh, options in terms of uh, hardware. So there is, if I remember correctly, there is CS28, 36, and uh, 36M. Basically, these are all different configuration when it comes to hardware. They have specific amount of CPU and uh, RAM. And you can go through Microsoft documentation on exactly what it is. But you need to have at least three nodes in case you want to deploy this a solution so basically it's like running VMware host in Azure public cloud data center now this has a couple of advantages obviously in case your hardware is coming for refresh you can seamlessly migrate this from on-prem to the cloud right and your uh, your on-prem technicians, they don't need to learn anything specifically new. They can utilize all these familiar tools, vSphere, vCenter, vSAN, and some of the other uh, uh, options that comes with that one, and they can continue to utilize the same functionality that they are used to on-prem. Other is, for example, in case you want to utilize peak time, right? So also a lot of businesses during certain time of a year, they need to add capacity. So if that's the case, what they can do is they can seamlessly add more capacity to their existing environment. And then when that is uh, done, when they don't need it, they can obviously scale that down. So that's another reason they can, uh, uh, they can utilize uh, this feature. And as I said that, uh, there are so many big enterprise customers who are using VMware, and they're not ready to 
learn maybe a new technology they want to continue to use the same functionality that they are used to on-prem and still utilize the uh, all the flexibility and maybe scalability that uh, the public cloud has to offer so in those scenarios i think that's a, that's a good option to look into and once that's in the public cloud it also integrates with uh, a lot of other services which are there which public cloud has to offer in this case azure so like this integrates for example with the azure monitor it also integrates with azure backup services so a couple of services just to name it that you can still utilize even though it is running on bare metal and using vmware as a hypervisor so that's one one i will say that uh, one additional benefit that you get by utilizing this service in in public cloud which only you generally don't get and in case you want to move these machines you can utilize maybe vmotion uh, to move this from on prem to the cloud you can also use a lot of uh, third party tools that you can utilize this so there are a couple of ways so they have made it pretty flexible so as of right now this service is available in east and west us and it is also available now in west europe and the plan is that they will continue to add more uh, regions in the future but right now i think these are the three options available and also from the uh, node uh, consideration they will continue to add uh, more cpu and ram and gives you more flexibility in case there are some customer which needs that and this is all powered by cloud simple uh, that's uh, that's what it brings everything together the touch and feel is very similar to the way that you will be utilizing your on-prem ASXi host. So this video was on Azure VMware solution powered by Cloud Simple. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.